up everybody welcome to horror reviews and let's talk about low lives a brand new 2024 horror film you could watch for free right now if you wanted to low lives is a tubi original horror film that's right tubi the free streaming service has a uh, an original produced horror film on their streaming service right now and i saw quite a few people talking about this film the poster looks really cool so it definitely caught my attention unfortunately this one was quite a disappointment for me but I will get into the negatives in a minute. I'm not going to give away any spoilers at the moment. Just give a quick talk about some of the positives and negatives before I get into details. So let's get right into the positives. And the first one, honestly, is that you can watch it right now. I mean, it's pretty cool. If you are a big horror fan and you're always looking for new horror, the brand new film that comes out in 2024 that you could just go download Tubi and watch right now is a major positive. You can watch it from the comfort of your own home and... You don't have to go to theaters or anything like that. So, I mean, that is a pretty positive. Although, of course, I love going to theaters. But, like I said, you know, hey, it's nice. It's free and it's right there. The other positive is Low Lives does have an interesting idea behind it. I think that once the idea is out in the open, it doesn't have a whole lot going for it after that. But it does have an interesting idea. So, going blind, if you're going to watch this film... And don't, you know, don't read the IMDb synopsis. I don't even know what it says, but don't look at anything or watch spoilers or whatever. It will definitely add to your viewing experience the less that you know. Low Lives also does have some fairly decent acting from some of the cast. And again, I'm not going to specifically say who really because I don't want to give <clears throat> anything away about this movie at the moment. But I do think some of the cast are pretty solid. Some are weaker. And this movie does have some decent practical effects got some cool kills and some moments here and there this movie borrows very heavily from a few superior films but those elements that it borrows does it does okay with so that you know is a positive when you're stealing from a better movie and you're able to do it okay sunny here is pretty cool i always love like a family or couple on a road trip that gets lost or stuck somewhere or has to stay somewhere or something like that. If it's done well, I always love that idea. For me personally, I love being out in the middle of nowhere, being in an unfamiliar state and unfamiliar back roads, things like that. So I love those concepts. I don't think this is the best one done for sure, but it's a cool concept. It's a good uh, setting, I guess I should say. And the house that it primarily takes in is a pretty good setting as well. Definitely could have used some more set design, some more work, art direction here and there. Absolutely. In fact, that's a very weak point in this film, but the house itself is a pretty cool setting. Now let's get into my negatives, in which there are quite a few. I just, this film didn't really do it for me, but I'm not going to get into spoilers yet. I'll just say that this film's core concept is unique, but once you find out what's going on, it doesn't have much else to give you you know it's again it's one of those where it's like boom twist and then there's nothing else going for it i think that the acting in for some of the characters is really 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 bad really over the top and that kind of ruins it for me and i think the ending is bad it it again it's one of those where it kind of like implodes on itself because it has this concept and then it kind of like you're going on this ride for this concept but then it takes a turn where it's like well actually okay but maybe even though this is happening you can still root for these people and it's like nah actually it was this the whole time i will say that about it it did from the opening scene it did pretty much let me know i was like okay well probably really these are the characters that we're following this is this is your central cast even if it something does happen to make you think it's not later it kind of let you know this is the person you're going to be following till the end of the film. Plus, they're on the poster. Well, I said that the practical effects in here are pretty good. I don't think they're great. I definitely don't think they're great. They look a little bit cheap and fake. But, you know, it's it's nice to see practical effects. So you, I want to, like, praise that and give that attention. But it's nothing that's going to make you say, hey, I'm going to watch this film just for the kills and just for the effects. That being said, also, like I said, the art direction, there's some scenes in here, like the opening scene where they're like supposed to be having a barbecue by their RV or whatever. And it, I mean, it looks really bad to me. It literally looks like they kind of like just found some grass by a, a, like a house or something. They have the RV as the prop and they like set up a barbecue. And it it's just like it feels very, very just like thrown out there. 
to a film to see. It feels like a short film. It doesn't feel like a feature length film. It doesn't feel real to me at all. The other thing is a big problem with this film I noticed was like blocking. Blocking is a big issue. Specifically, again, in the first scene. You know, the the characters at the barbecue, and there's characters over here, and then there's a character walking off. And this is the just the opening scene of the film. But he's kind of like the dad. He's like barbecuing. And he's like looking over here and talking to her. And then like the family's like back here behind him. And they're talking. And he like he's trying to say something to them. And then he's trying to talk to her. And like the blocking just doesn't work. They're like off screen, but like on screen. And they're supposed to be like on screen, but they're off screen. And it's like one shot. It's not shot well. And it just doesn't work. It like this whole sequence is just, it's not like one shot, like one take, but the way it's shot is not creatively shown. There's no like, there's not even like really good over the shoulder shots or anything to really show you the dialogue and what's going on. The, the, the way it's shot doesn't work for the scene as well as like the blocking is confusing to me. Felt really cheap, felt like a short film, felt very rushed. The other thing I really didn't like about Low Lives is like I said, it borrows from a lot of other films, but then it, it kind of like only uses those for little pieces. And it's almost kind of like, if you're gonna steal, you know, steal it, but then use it because it works in other films. Specifically, I'm thinking of something that steals from your next. And it, it was very clear to me that it was definitely lifting very heavily from that film, but then it, doesn't use it very well. So it's kind of like, well, why'd you steal that then if you're not gonna use it? Or just use it, just embrace it, take it, make it a bigger part of your film, use it better. I'm just gonna go into a few more details real quick, talk about some spoilers. This is your spoiler warning. If you do not want to know any spoilers about low lives or the twist of the film, stop watching right now. Okay, so the core concept, of course, of this film is that you start with this family that you're supposed to think is on vacation and whatever, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And they're like a nice, sweet, happy family with some issues. And you've got this teenage girl who's on the poster of the film. So she must be our main character, right? She must be our final girl. And then you get these like hillbilly backwoods guys who are really like weird and creepy, who are supposed to be, you're supposed to think are bad. And then of course, twist, boom. Oh, it's the family's bad, which is a cool idea. But I have two major problems with that, two or three major problems with that. One being, the family sucks so bad in the beginning. I liked the main girl well enough. I thought, hey, she's on the poster. She's going to be our final girl. Hopefully this family will die. I immediately thought they're so annoying. The dad is so over the top. He's ridiculous. The, again, the dialogue is so bad. The boy, I hate when they do this in movies, but the boy acts like he's like eight, but he's clearly like 15. He's like, he's dumbed down to this like, childish character which might have been intentional because of the family dynamics but it doesn't work it makes him feel like he's a child who's miscast it makes him feel like he should be young but he's old and so he's very like paper thin his character development's really bad he doesn't understand how like hot dogs work i don't know like there's this stupid stuff where he just like doesn't get it he's being taught by his dad and it just it feels like he's teaching like a little child it just doesn't work so i wanted the family to die right away and then you find out, actually, as soon as the villain, the villains, the hillbilly guys came into the scene, I thought, wow, they're way better actors. Let's just have some of them and the main girl. That sounds great. I'm down for that movie. But then you find out, shocker, we are actually going to follow this family for the whole movie, and they all suck. And so that, that right there doesn't work if you set up a family where we like them. And then we're like, hey, they're really interesting and unique, but oh, wait, they're psychotic killers? That could have been such a cool concept, but you made the most annoying family on earth with a teenage drama queen be the core cast. But also, these like creepy hillbilly guys were genuinely weird. Like they were being weird and kind of rude and inappropriate. So then that doesn't work either because once you find out what's going on and you're supposed to be like rooting for the family because then like, oh, they're showing up at the family. You're like, oh no, these killers are going to kill these, these girls that are there. The only people we know from the family are weird people. They were kind of rude. So then it's kind of like, well, I don't care about them either. So it just the, like, I know you had to do it in a way to make us think they were bad and then the family was good. But they could have been done so much better. There's so much better. There's many more ways of doing like 
passive aggressive ag like aggression where you can make characters seem like they're bad but being nice like you could have done that with the hillbillies where it's portrayed in one way through the lens of what we know and then portrayed in a different way through a different lens that's the way to do that scene not just make them weird but then be like oh but they're actually good it just doesn't work and then the ending again you know we we're following the fan the family but then we end up kind of like having this girl we're supposed to root for who's a like a, a great shot with a bow and arrow etc or whatever defending her sister and her family and like this nice family in the house that you're supposed to be rooting for but then they keep like hamming it up with this family so it's like it's just such a like contrasting thing that doesn't work for me it's really over the top villain and in the end when you get the teenager who should have died but instead comes out and <clears throat> the main girl chases her out all night of the living dead style and gets shot which was a moment that definitely caught me off guard for a second but was just such a wasted moment like the film had built up to that point and they really should have delivered us a kill of that murderous teenage girl from this final girl that should have been it we would have had some payoff it should have flipped this card we follow them for the rest of the film and then it gives us payoff but then instead it flips it again which is kind of like so who am i supposed to be rooting for here who am i supposed to like i don't understand and it's another one of those where it's like okay that's the point of the film i get it but then you still have to like rely on us rooting for another character just for your film to work so either we should have followed the family and that should have been the film. They should have been more like, you know, a, a serial killer family that we get behind or we like to see the in, inner workings of the family or how they got to be that way or how they go about killing or something like that it would have been so much more interesting to me than like a really annoying family that you then want to die, but then still the girl lives. So then it's kind of like, yeah, I know that maybe what you wanted to do again with your movie, but I just don't feel like it works for me at all. And I don't like any of the characters. So then it, it feels like there's no payoff. You know, it could have been cool payoff if you really hated the characters and then she lived. But you're supposed to kind of like them, but then you don't. It just none of it really pays off well for me. It feels like they didn't commit to either direction and so then once you find out the twist, there's not really a lot going on. So that's my review of Low Lifes. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have seen Low Lifes, let me know down below what you liked about it, what were the best aspects about it, or if you agree with some of my thoughts. And if you still want to watch it after this review and you haven't seen it, are you going to go check it out because it's free on Tubi? I mean, is Tubi going to be making more horror films? I mean, that's pretty cool that they're doing that, at least like throwing their hat in the ring, you know? somebody else that's getting involved in making new horror films of course i wish that they were better thanks for watching everybody i appreciate it scared on a big bad wolf i never see the silver line and only see the gold i don't speak in caps dog everything bold and i put that on myself because it's a life that i done chose i said come through you can see me on the west side now it's funny how they walking with each other